Hi everybody. In this short video I'd like to describe a bit the class that I'm going to be teaching at both the South Bay Adult School and at Torrance Adult School. I call it Organizing Your Photos Using Photoshop Elements. However, each one of the schools call it by a slightly different name. Torrance calls it Digital Photography and Organizing. South Bay Adult School calls it Organizing Your Digital Photos with Photoshop Elements. Both schools start their classes the week of January 12th. This is probably the most important course that I teach. I think it's the most important at least. It's the one that I think, if all else being equal, you should start with uh, before taking the editing classes in Photoshop Elements. And that's the subjects that we're going to address here in this class. Those subjects that you need to know to have fun using your photographs and not get frustrated. We're going to learn how to organize, share, and protect your dig digital images in this class, which uses the organizer of Photoshop Elements. We are going to make some simple one-click enhancements to the photographs that you'll be very surprised how much better they make the photos look after they've come out of your camera. This class sets the foundation to get the most out of the follow-on courses that I teach at each of the schools, which concentrate more on photo editing. As in all of my classes, the class is going to provide online handouts in PDF format that you can download and print out or just keep on your computer and look at as you need to. Some of the specific things we're going to be doing, we're going to learn how to upload your photos, whether it's through the cable, from your camera, a card reader, or the built-in slot in your computer. Once they're in the computer, we'll learn how to organize them. Photoshop Elements uses a tagging system as one very strong way to organize your pictures so that you can find them quite easily without being totally always needing to know the file name or the folder that the program or the picture is in. And as I said, we're going to be doing some very simple one-click editing enhancements to the photos. We're going to learn how to make a slideshow, which is a popular way to share your pictures with your friends and families. And we're going to learn how to email your photos directly from within Photoshop Elements. The last topic on this slide, protecting and archiving your images, is probably the most important topic that we cover. There is a built-in backup and restore command right within the Photoshop Elements Organizer. And that is going to play a key role in helping you to protect your images in case you acquire a virus or you have a computer disk crash on you. The organizer within Photoshop Elements can not only keep track of images, but also movie clips and audio clips. Regardless of where they are stored, they can even be stored on external drives. The catalog itself helps you to tag images, and that's one of the key ways that you can find your images once they've been tagged. You can also find your images by the date they were taken and a variety of other ways with what's called the find command. We're going to learn how to organize and view the images in a variety of ways. The program itself also can create slideshows as I talked about a minute ago. However, there are other types of photo projects you can make using Photoshop elements such as online albums, calendars, etc. The organizer can perform some very simple image editing that we're going to exercise. And as I said, it does include the backup and restore commands that we can use to protect the images. So hopefully this gives you a little idea of what's going to be involved in the class. You're basically going to learn how to use the organizer. And that is, I think, the very first step you need to do uh, once you've learned how to use your camera and take some pictures. In fact, using your camera often, at least keeping it on its automatic mode, 
uh, is one of the simpler things involved. They take great pictures, even if you keep them on automatic. Okay, I hope you got something out of the video, and I hope I see you in one of these classes. Thanks a lot for listening.